Hello friends, plagiarism is one of the important problem faced by the researchers. So everyone is struggling to reduce your plagiarism and also you have to need any tools to check your plagiarism. So in this video I am going to tell some free tools which can check plagiarism correctly. So let us go on to today's video. Welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video you can you we came to aware about what are the different plagiarism tools you can check plagiarism for free so let us go on to today's video so first one what we are going to discuss is about copy leaks so in this just to open your copy leaks from google so you can see the site here you give new scan so you can upload a file to check for plagiarism or you can enter your text or you can copy an url so you can use source code or you can compare two text that is for example you are having a test you are paraphrasing the test so thereby you can compare test and similarity index of the two contents so next we can extract text from our images also so let us give some important trials first i am giving free text so just i am copy and paste some text here so here i am just copying this paragraph just copy and paste so click for scan so it will take several seconds so you have to wait so here your plagiarism will be found so you can see here so under under percentage match that is your content is full of plagiarism so you can see uh, where the plagiarism you get so like that you can just click here you will get where the content is taken so you can save the report also so like that you can go for this plagiarism check so next one is how to compare two different things so that is just click on new scan so you can give text to compare so here i am copying the same text again so already we have checked just to copy and paste so the same content is paraphrased using some paraphrasing tool so and then i am going to copy the same thing so the same thing is paraphrased so i am going to copy so let us see how this copy leak will generate a report by comparing the two contents so it will take also several minutes just wait <coughs> you can see here so the results found it's 100 percentage match the same content was is only repeated so it can easily show how much the content is paraphrased so what are the minor changes has been done that is 21.3 percentage it is changed so like that the changed content also it can be used so many of them using many paraphrasing tools to change your content to reduce plagiarism so thereby you can check whether your content is changed fully or not so like that you can use this copy link to check your content because so whenever you are going for a paraphrasing tool you are very uh, very <coughs> you have to take care that uh, whether it is completely paraphrased or not some paraphrasing tools just uh, use the same thing and it cannot be paraphrased correctly so you must be very aware about that so you can use this thing, uh, kind of tools to check and compare the same text that you have paraphrased also so next one what we have to going to discuss about next one is text images so i am just giving text images so i am going to you upload this text the sorry upload this image that is the array of solar panel image so see let's see what is what it will generate so i am going to upload so i am just to click on that and then give scan so you have to select so in that you have to select here you have to select in english so after english selecting english you can click scan so I am giving select in English I am just clicking scan now you can see the text in the image is extracted so this is a file which is drawn identically so there are no plagiarism match so like that you can use this tool to uh, check your plagiarism so after using paraphrasing tool also you can check what is the difference between your original content and a paraphrased content 
so thereby you can get an idea how how your plagiarism can be reduced so next tool what we are going to discuss is about next tool is the grammarly so you can give plagiarism detection so you can upload or you can uh, enter your text so like that i am going to give the same text so let us see what it will do what it will do just copy and paste so scan for plagiarism or you can else upload a document also in this grammarly so you can see plagiarism found so thereby you can check plagiarism using grammarly also so it also uh, show the spelling uh, punctuation so readability word choice also so thereby you can get an idea so using this grammarly also so next to plagiarism so tool what we are going to discuss is about this is q text so it is also one of the important plagiarism checker tool so just click copy and paste the content so give check for plagiarism so it also takes several minutes to check for your plagiarism now you can see after plagiarism checks it shows that 100 percentage in wikipedia so yeah, actually it is taken from wikipedia so it is directing correctly so this is how you can check uh, plagiarism using q text so this is the pricing plan so you can uh, use it for free up to 500 words so after that you have to pay so up to 500 words you can check so this is also an important tool next tool what we are going to discuss is about small seo tools that's also a free plagiarism checker so just to click on two small seo tools so it will take several minutes to open your just click on that here you can see different options so you can copy and paste your url or specific url so you can go for click plagiarism so and you can check grammar so if you want deep plagiarism checker so you have to pay so this is an important option next in that uh, small seo tools you can use article rewriting and word combiner also so you can article rewriter and you can check uh, grammar for free also so these are the important options available in uh, small seo tools so it is also a limited version of your plagiarism checker so next tool what we are going to discuss is about this one is a dupli checker so it is also an paraphrasing tool and also a plagiarism plagiarism checking tool so you just copy and paste the same content whether uh, we can check whether it can detect your plagiarism, plagiarism or not so just copy and paste so it can check up to 25k words for go premium so it will check up to 1000 words limit per search so just uh, i'm going to you check plagiarism so you can also select your file and also you can enter your url you can go for plagiarism check calls also grammar check also so it will take several time so you can see this is the number of words find plagiarism 100 percentage so similarity index where it is taken so like that it will generate your report so this is also a plagiarism tool so what we have seen so far is a five important plagiarism tool which can which can be accessible for free also so as far as your uh, research article that is for publication point of view so you have to use a professional uh, pl plagiarism checkers so in the next video we will discuss about what are the professional plagiarism checkers so in worldwide which uh, plagiarism checker can plagiarism tool is used to check your research paper so the plagiarism check is only according to the database it does have not to the paper it is published so the data the tool which has more database can be uh, generate more plagiarism so that is the tool which can be used in your reputed journals for your publication so in the next video we will discuss what are the important standard plagiarism tools to uh, check for your check your research paper so hope this video will helpful for you so the students we can go for your project without a project report without plagiarism or some uh, important blogs with uh, blog writing which are without plagiarism can use this type of plagiarism tool so thank you for watching our videos hope this video will be useful have a nice day thank you